nice tune. That's my washing machine. Combine the green herbs together for a super green herb. Boy. It's not as powerful as a green and red herb, but it'll save space. Ugh, yeah, uh, I do not. I do not uh, wish to get to Resident Evil Six. Five bullet punching. Five is okay. Anyone want half of this pop tart packet? Oh, no. no, it is too late for pop tarts for me. So what where do you mean? is go? This? Wait, stop. Into? Turn around. Go there, y'all. No, no. Or through this? Right there, yeah. Oh. I think I can squeeze by. Uh, Carlos can't fit in there because he's too big. That makes no fucking sense. Don't question it, Parker. It's a video game. I, mean, I question it. I mean, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> right, I mean, if this was yeah. if this was at all like real life, Carlos could just move those chairs out of the way. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> One of the. I know it's not the best pistol on the planet. But it's one of the most sexy designs for a handgun I've yeah, ever seen. That, I, I love the Desert it Eagle. Yeah. It's very angular. Yeah, it's just so cool looking. I know it's not the best pistol on the planet, but it's awesome. I love it. Oh god, we have that means we have to climb over that bench and then do that whole rigmarole again. Oh, we can't go back that way. Nope. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to go back for a bit. <laughs> Take it back Sim now, y'all. There's a simple lock all the way at the end of this hallway that I can't get. For some reason. You guys remember that? Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Go yourself. Yeah. What the fuck was that called? Electric slide. That was it? That was the name? Right? Yes, that's correct. My elementary school made the entire school do it once. Like, they even, like, recorded it, too, because, like the mayor was showing up or something to our school. They wanted to, te to test the limits of what they could force children to do. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. It's like, what does this have to do with the 1920s? <laughs> and the Depression era? I'm trying to, I think I might have been in, like, first grade when that happened, but... Like, like, even the mayor was doing it, too. He was He was getting down with it, but... With this big open field, and we're all just out there. It's a small school because we just started. But... Uh, teacher, what does this have to do with World War II? Shut up and dance! Dance for me. That's what they did on oh. D Day. What do you think the D stands for? This is what I thought Kevin was talking about <laughs> earlier, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they danced on D Day. That's what they did. Yeah. They did the electric slide on D Day. Nobody got murdered or anything. It's remembered so fondly because everyone in the war decided to stop and dance. Oh. And the Germans lost. Did you hear what Jill just said? And if you didn't do the dance well, they saw you down with an MG42. <laughs> they take you down with the Nazi buzzsaw. What's the Nazis? You'll learn. You'll learn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not trying to insinuate so that there... they would become the Nazis. Ah, so there's another way I can jump down to there. Because... Yeah, we already got that one, though. Okay, well, there's... Yeah. Okay, so there's a way I can... Did we not just do this? Yeah, we, we did that. Yeah, no, We're but good. I'm trying to get to this. Yeah, just go back. Like. Oh, yeah, I think that's... Yeah, right that's, there. like, right where the entrance was, so... Oh! Uh... And Josh, when Kevin was talking about Hellblade, this is what I was thinking of, which is the wrong thing. Absolutely and completely. That's, wrong. uh... Yeah, that's completely... That's... I'm not even joking. This is Heavenly Blade. <laughs> Who? It's, this is a game called Heavenly Blade. Never heard of that no, in my life. No, never heard of it. I haven't heard of it either. That's why it took me, like, ten minutes to look up what game that was from. The, the PlayStation All-Star game devs when they're supposed to implement... <laughs> a full roster of heroes, but they have, like, four. <laughs> so they have to make a bunch of them. The only ones that, like, in that game that I, like, remember, they were, there was Kratos, Sweet Tooth, Nathan, Nathan Drake, Drake, Sly Cooper, God of War, or Ratchet Kratos. Kratos. Rabbit. Wait, you Rabbit. already Rabbit. Kratos. Uh, Jack and Daxter. Those... Unlock all safe lockers, strong boxes, and pickable locks. Wow, wow. we are endgame, aren't we? Yeah, they're, if, uh... I mean, we got that achievement. There weren't that many, actually. 
Oh, well, we can get rid of these. Yeah, we can just throw away the lockpicks. I was literally just wondering that five minutes ago. What if? What if? Because once you just done what you think is the last padlock in Raccoon City, a lockpick would never come in handy again. No. Oh, yeah. Something in this room. Well, hey, Jill is the master of unlocking. She'd certainly find one later on. This looks like Nikolai's work. Uh -huh. We assume. Just because he's Russian and possibly evil. Because the only thing he has done in front of us is shoot another guy in the head. Yes. Exactly, yeah. Hello, stars, this soft. <laughs> yep, so. So, was it ever mentioned what Carlos did? To be an ex-con. Not in the game, but Caleb looked it up. I think we talked about this. He's supposed to be... He was uh, originally a communist revolutionary in, a, in like a southern American country. Mm. Which he, is, he should die for being that. Which is kind of bizarre that... I don't know if they changed it for this game, but they don't mention anything about it. He certainly doesn't sound like a communist revolutionary in this game. Nope, he does not. Be honestly, whenever I hear him talk, I just think of Javi from The Walking Dead. You know, I actually liked Javi in The Walking Dead. He's alright. I don't like his brother, though. But I don't think his he was His brother was to. a complete idiot. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to like his brother. They made him as unlikable as possible. Yeah. And Even if you're, like, super nice to him, he's always going to treat you like Yeah, exactly. Ass. That's the part that annoyed me in the third yeah. season. It's like, like you your just... choices do not matter. No. Except for, like, three choices. Yeah. You know, there's even an error in the game where, uh, you know, there's that choice where you can either take Clementine with you or not. Like, in the, I think it's in the second episode. They made an error where if you don't take her with you, you can still see her in the background. Oh, really? I don't know if that's an error or not, actually. It might just be like an Easter egg, like she's watching you or something. But you can see her in the background when you're going into that town. Who wouldn't take Clementine? <laughs> well, it's like, you gotta hold her hostage. I mean, to be so. fair, and spoilers for season three of The Walking Dead, by the way. Uh... Like, one of your first, like, after your first interaction, and you go to that one town, um, and she ends up shooting and killing a person. Yeah. And if you don't defend her actions, you instantly, like, lose relationship points with her. Yeah. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> she, she shot a guy. She just wrongfully shot this guy. Like, <laughs> I mean, she did it by accident, but still. Yeah, but, I mean... Of course I covered for her. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's weird that if you don't, you, you, like, I'm, I'm not really, I just met you in reality. Yeah, literally. Javi just met her. He's like, why would he just say, yeah, it's all right. She, she, he deserved to get shot. I think the people writing it were just like, oh, well, people like Clementine, so they'll do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, we can real, really push this line. Have you played uh, the spin-off of uh, Walking Dead Michonne? No, I haven't actually. I have it, but... I, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna buy it. I just watched it. It's okay. I bought the, like, remaster package that comes with everything. Oh, yeah. And I played through it all. God, the, the ending to everything was pretty bittersweet. <laughs> More bitter. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I have only ever purchased, like... Season one of The Walking Dead from Telltale. I don't really want to buy the other ones, just for the sole fact that I could just watch them on YouTube and get the same experience. Just uh, yeah, you're gonna. It's not exactly a happy story. No, no I've I've watched all of them. I think the only Telltale games I haven't watched on YouTube were like the Batman one and the Borderlands one. Oh, I love the Borderlands. Borderlands is great. Batman I, yeah. is mad. I haven't awesome. watched the Borderlands one just because I haven't played any Borderlands games and I'm just kind of afraid I'd be confused if How I watched it. No one in the yeah, you kind of would. All this. How is nobody... Yeah, that's a good point. Like, in all honesty, you you kind of do need to play, like, one and two. Mm -hmm. Not three. Three is not... Oh, in, yeah. Because this heard, happens before three. I've heard such bad things about Borderlands 3. It's... 
it's all right. Story wise, not it's so all right, good. but there's not a lot of replayability. Is it a co op game? Yes. Oh, a, oh, a, a story game that the story is not good. What's the point? Mm. Yeah. Honestly, when it comes to games, I, I always prefer, like, games with good gameplay over story, but when there's a good story, that's, like, that's a nice bonus. Really? Like, that's so weird. I'm the complete opposite. I can get past bad gameplay if the story's good enough. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I just get bored, and I'm like, well, if the gameplay's bad and going well, through it's such a slog, I can just watch it. If you're getting bored, that's usually an indicator that you're not engaged in the story, which means it's a bad <laughs> there's, there's badly written quite, story as well. Okay, but for being Borderlands, there are a lot of really funny, like, the side missions are, like, 100 times better than the main missions. Oh. So you're, you know? tell, you're telling me the first couple Resident Evils, the, that gameplay does it for you? Yeah. <laughs> That's what, the, really? <laughs> the tank controls and everything? More space! Yeah, it, ha it offers a nice atmosphere for it. Like, the story is dog shit, but the gameplay's fine. Huh, apparently there's a... I like the puzzle solving and slow aspect of it. Mm. I know that probably sounds weird, but that's no, just my thing. Everyone has their thing. Also, they're not ready back Necromancer for free, so they can go fuck themselves, honestly. This is, um, oh, the, the fucking... Well, she, they brought her back as a character. Yeah, but you can't play her. Well, okay. You know what I'm actually kind of... Ex I don't know if it's come out already, but... What was that one spin-off Borderlands game they're doing? About... Tiny Tina's. They're basically oh, oh, doing an entire yeah. game off of a DLC they did not too. Oh, I heard about that. That's like the only character I know from Borderlands is Tiny Tina, Handsome Jack, and I think Claptrap. Is Claptrap from Borderlands? Yeah. Claptrap's in all of the Borderlands. Fuck you! Annoying you get to You get to play as him in the prequels. The prequel. The prequel sequel. I forget what it's called. The pre sequel. The pre sequel. The pre sequel. I only know of Claptrap because he's a character that you can play against in Poker Night in the Inventory 2. Yeah. yeah. He's annoying as fuck. Shut the fuck up, Steve. Have you ever listened to all the dialogue in those Poker it's, Night games? Yeah, they're it's, hilarious. It's great. Like. Like, the second one had uh, Ash from Evil Dead, Claptrap. <laughs> and isn't there, like, so much dialogue? Like, they recorded a lot. It's like, hours. Yeah. It's I insane. still prefer the first one with Heavy Weapons Guy. Oh, I from TF2? Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, like, talking about, like, yeah, how he has PTSD from killing people. <laughs> Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, Nikolai. Nikolai. I am Heavy Weapons Guy. Hey, Nikolai. You dickhead. It's like, sometimes I have nightmare where blood oh. covers my hands damn, and there is sends a damn. That, is, that sends a fucking message. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, what if that, what if that the, just works? The, <laughs> the, the bullet hitting right in the glass, that sends a fucking message. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's actually... Jill, I will Even though that's not going to register oh. at all, it's kind of cool. I respect you, <laughs> but I'm afraid our game's... Who the fuck evil. are you? Oh, I'm yeah. Russian. That means I am evil. Haven't you ever seen Rocky IV? Hunt if for If she three dies, days. she dies. <laughs> uh, this guy is like living out his supervillain fantasy over here. Yeah, I, 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 I can't see him. He's just going like, <laughs> "It's a ghoul!" Oh God! Fall out! Stay away Damn, from them. Suck. Pistol won't work on them. Face only a mother could love. Shotguns. Oh, the shotgun yeah. the shotguns don't work too well. Blow them away, either. blow them away! Oh, I mean, I guess you could do that. Goodbye. <laughs> Flame rounds. Well, that takes care of that. Oh, oh come on. This, this is, this is the stupidest. You can literally squeeze through there. <laughs> that is the stupidest invisible wall. I hate that shit. It does. How are you so At alive? least make them make sense. Like, yeah, make on. the stairs just not there. Just make him like broken or Herb something. Herb shotgun. He just said shotgun don't work. Shotgun doesn't work well. Oh, but you eliminate can't... this problem. Uh, bullshit! I was once one cat. Like... These are different zombies. They regenerate really fast. Destroy his head! Destroy his head! Okay, I don't think that. Where the fuck do I go? That thing right oh, there. Oh, goddamn it! Why didn't I see that before? This is a puzzle room. Is this, is <laughs> I this hate being provided emergency power or something? I hate. Well, no, the fuses are gone. Oh, oh. 
our auxiliary power. Hellblade has puzzles everywhere, I would but hate. they're not stupid. I would hate to play Dead Space, because in Dead Space... Some of them are. are a little annoying, though, when you have to line them up just right. Some are, but not, not all of them are annoying. No, no, no. For the most part, no. In the, uh, I, don't, I know we haven't played any Silent Hill games, but those games with their puzzles, they actually let you choose like a separate puzzle difficulty. So you can like choose like combat difficulty, like to be easy or really hard, and then you can choose puzzle difficulty to be non-existent or very hard. That's cool. Like most of the puzzles are like riddles, and you gotta use those riddles to like put things in certain like positions. What? Dogs. Oh! oh what the hell? Bring out the shotgun, bring out the shotgun, bring out the shotgun! Bring out the health, man, damn. Oh, damn, son, he just bit your neck. I don't know, on Hellblade, there's combat difficulty. I have it on automatic. Whenever I play the hell that game, there's combat difficulty. Automatic. Yeah, automatic. Oh, does it probably change? Yeah, automatic. 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 Yeah, because I noticed that I would uh, wait for them to attack, it to, to deflect them, and then do a counter. They then started throwing attacks that you can't deflect, that you have to dodge. Or ah. Why, wait, has, why? why hasn't AI improved oh my God, I just substantially used with game, with the future of gaming? I don't think it's profitable to have go a good NPC system. Yeah, they well, just they would put so much money into it, and it's like, well, what we have works right now, so two why that bother? come to mind is the Nemesis system from Shadow of Mordor, which D WB has uh, has privatized. Of course, no one else can use it, which is stupid. The Nemet <laughs> the Nemesis system from Shadow of Mordor, the really? one where where the guys can keep coming back and. And the, their character develops if if they live and everything. You you know that? Yeah. The whole like main like plot point in the game. Uh, and another one that comes to mind is the AI in uh, Sega's Alien Isolation. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I really I smart good. AI. I just, uh, I think that it's just mainly because, like, a lot of people just don't, oh, don't, like, probably companies are like, well, it's not profitable to put our work into because, like, AI has gotten to a point where you can just set this as the basic and nobody's going to complain about it. You know, well, if it works, it works. Yeah, if it works, it works. So why, why try to fix something that's not broken? That's, that's why competition in the gaming world is important. I mean, tell Rockstar that where they purposely make the AI move in front of you or try to stop you. <laughs> what? What do you mean? You not seen that before? Where the it like oh spe like it. specifically online, it the game will do almost anything to run a car into you. Oh shit! The, uh, shell holder for I guess for the shotgun. I am so dead. Until I get a green herb, I don't play a camp. So, what did that do for the... You gotta use the elevator. I know I have to use the elevator, but I was like, what I, did it do oh, for the... I don't... Maybe it reloads faster or something. That would make sense. Some of the dumbest AI, I think, was in, like, the newest Tom Clancy uh, Ghost oh. Recon games. Oh, I was gonna Increases say it. reload speed. Yeah. I was gonna say the division, but I guess. That oh, that speed. too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad bought it. Like, actually, he didn't buy it. It actually came with the Xbox One that he got. Oh wow. One, and he played it, and he's like, "Yeah, I hate it." <laughs> the division, yeah. Because there was like a, a famous boss fight where this guy had one of the highest damage output guns, but it's a scar, and they're. The whole game kind of touts a photorealistic feel, but you have to, like, pump 30 full mags into this guy before he dies, and he's just a normal guy, but he's a boss. Oh, shit. 
but it's really weird. I think it's, that's happened in Breakpoint I don't, too. I don't like that in games. Yeah. When when Blood like sponges. health bars can be used well when you're like fighting a giant or like a giant monster or something. Like in Doom, it's a perfect example yeah. of how it's that's done well. Uh huh. But if it, if you're just fighting like normal humans and you're shooting them with more than like five rounds out of a gun, yeah. Then it's kind of ridiculous. 